actual house, it's not an actual club It's just actual stories that are actually fun And they're written by kids that actors tell with their mouths And it's time to begin, it's the Story Club everyone welcome 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 in welcome to the story clubhouse where each week we explore worlds dreamed up by young storyteller students i can't wait to get into today's story the beverly blondes but let me first introduce myself i'm janet varney so excited to be with you tonight uh in case you're not familiar with young storytellers uh young storytellers we go into public schools and mentor young people to write their own original stories and as you'll see tonight these stories are the purest expression of our students imagination and creativity they write every word that you will hear tonight uh, i have been involved with young storytellers for many many years as an actress in the big show performances i always I always, always love going to the schools. I have loved being a part of this online version of Young Storytellers. I'm so happy that it's still going here as we navigate these times uh, together. And there's nothing more delightful than seeing mentors interacting with kids and then the, just the looks on their faces when they see their words performed by actors who are always super psyched to be there. It's a joy. Uh, I uh, definitely am excited about today's show. As I've told you, we will be performing the Beverly Blondes by Jasmine Reyes from Vermont Elementary School. And she wrote this back in 2009 which makes her da, 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 22 years old. That's pretty exciting. Um, the unfortunate news is that Jasmine Cott called into work tonight, so she's not able to be here in person, but she was thoughtful enough to send this special message that I am tasked with reading. I can't wait, here it goes. This is a special note from Jasmine, the playwright of this play. I was part of the Young Storytellers program when I was in the fifth grade. It was such a special memory I have kept until now. I'm a college senior, and I always wondered if I'd be able to go back to my elementary school and help another student, just like how the mentors I had when I was in the program had helped me. This program revealed to me how much I absolutely loved screenwriting and movies and film. Thank you so much for continuing the great work this program does because to my 10, 11 year old self, it was just magical. The whole experience is seriously something that you never forget when growing up. All right, let's bring the actors out who will be performing Jasmine's story today. Actors, can you please uh, come on stage? Say hello to all of these wonderful, wonderful ladies. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Biz. Busy Phillips. Uh, hello. hello. Hi, Janet Barney. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing very well. I'm so excited. I got so excited when I found out that I was going to get to do the show with all of these wonderful people that I love. I found out that I was, I didn't know you were doing it. And I found out I was doing it with Georgia because she texted me. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And then she said... <laughs> Just wait, Busy. <laughs> That's right. Well, Biz, who are you playing? Uh, who are you playing uh, today I'm in the playing, show? I'm playing Annie, who is British. And that's why I didn't understand what Georgia texted me. Because she said, oh my gosh, we're playing British twins. And I hadn't <laughs> read Jasmine's script yet. And I was like, I don't, I, did I get cast in a movie I don't know about? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Better. It's a young storyteller show. A hundred percent, by the way. Uh, yes. I know, right? It's actually a lot better. Um, and, and you've been in, involved in young storytellers in the past. This is nef definitely not, no one's first rodeo here yeah. on the show. I've done the big uh, show. And then before I've done performances in a school before, yeah. like a smaller day, evening, afternoon. I love, it's I so love, fun. yeah. Every version of uh, young storyteller shows are always so awesome. For, for many, many reasons. Um, I'm going to introduce uh, a person who needs no introduction, turns out, because we already heard a snippet from her moments ago as the sister of Busy Phillips' character, Georgia May King. Welcome hello. in. Hello, hello. Hello, thank you so much for having me. And yes, I was so excited. I furiously, furiously texted Busy. 
dreams do come true. Now, Georgia is not British. Um, she just is in deep, deep character. She refuses to use her regular old American accent. That's a joke. She's actually British. No, no, I'm method. This is a very, <laughs> I went very, very British. Uh, <laughs> and, and what, and, and, uh, and, and you are playing, as we've mentioned, a uh, busy sister, uh, and you have done young storyteller shows before as well. Yeah. Yes. I'm playing Izzy and I have done the big show. I think I did it with you, Izzy, in fact. Good. Oh, continuous <laughs> um, And then I've had the honor of uh, mentoring a few semesters um, at one of the schools and it's the absolute greatest. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Lindy Booth, I'm coming over to you. Hi. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for doing the show. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, what people watching don't know is that I got to see a, a little snippet of the rehearsal. You guys are in for a treat. Uh, thank you. Thank uh, there's you. some there's some very fine performances going on here. I'm ex I'm excited. Uh, who are you playing, Lindy? I am playing Addison, who is the popular girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, I'm exciting to see. I also a method, and I'm insanely popular in real life. <laughs> Hey, thank you for talking to all of us. Thank you for agreeing to talk to all of us. Big nerd, big nerd. Back of the back of the bus. <laughs> get it, get in line with the rest of us. You are among friends, my friend. Uh, and this also for you is not your first big, uh, your first show with young storytellers, no? No, I've been doing um, young storyteller shows for I think like ten years. It is my favorite <laughs> type of acting. <laughs> I, I, I feel that maybe you and I were on an early one together because that's about when I started. Um, yeah. And uh, I just, it nev I never get tired of it. Uh, and I have let us. Quite a few with Chrissy, who is my cohort yeah. in this one as well. What a beautiful segue. A beautiful segue in to welcome Chrissy Fit. Chrissy Fit, hello. Hi. Hola, hello. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for joining the show. Guys. Yes, I love young storytellers. I mean, I've done so many of these shows and I never want to stop because it's amazing. And so you, uh, you've been doing them, uh, have you, you've done them in the schools uh, pr primarily? Yeah. With the kids and stuff? I've done a ton at the schools. I just love to like talk to the kids after and, and just, they're so excited. My favorite part of the show is always like looking at them while they see their show being performed. Cause like the joy on their face is so incredible. So yeah, I'm a, a big fan. <laughs> uh, agreed. And who are you playing today? Oh, I am playing Vanessa. I am the popular girl's best friend, which wasn't even me for real life. So a lot of acting, <laughs> a lot of acting is happening. Right now. <laughs> She's digging deep, guys. She's digging deep. Uh, awesome. Okay. Now, I also want to introduce our wonderful, wonderful narrator, Vera Lim. Please say hello, Vera, and tell us how you are and how you're involved with Young Storytellers. Hello. Uh, I'm doing great, and I'm the training and curriculum specialist at Young Storytellers, uh, which is super awesome. I feel like sometimes I just climb the ranks because I started as an actor in the big shows, um, and now I get to like be in the classrooms, and I get to like work on the curriculum and I get to meet all of these wonderful actors and go to different big shows and story clubhouse episodes and it's just so so fun. I and I just want to quickly point out and I don't want to uh, raise too much attention but I have a deep envy of your young storytellers uh, t-shirt right now. Oh yeah. So I'm hoping oh, that there will be an opportunity nice. for me to buy me one. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> super awesome. It's on With our the website. Same oh good. Great. Perfect. Um, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Shall shall we do shall we do a play? Shall we get into it? Mm -hmm. Let's do mm -hmm. the show. Let's do the show, Let's everybody. Show. Okay, we'll do a show. We'll see ya. All right. The Beverly Blondes by Jasmine Reyes. Exterior school cafeteria day. Annie and Izzy, 14, British blonde twins, new to America, clutch their lunch trays nervously as they look over the cafeteria of their new school. Meanwhile, at the popular kids' table, Addison and Ashley Tisdale look alike, and her best friend Vanessa see the twins. Hey, uh, they look new. I guess they are. 
The one on the left looks like a brain. Addison looks at Vanessa like she couldn't be slower. Just let me handle this. Addison turns on a huge smile and waves towards the twins. Annie and Izzy approach. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, hello. Um, I'm Izzy. Hey. Hi, I'm Addison. <laughs> oh my gosh, your accent is adorable. We hear a stamp under the table. Addison's foot on Vanessa's. Ah, ow! You must be new. Vanessa and I, we can show you around. I know people that know people. Oh, I think that would be fine. Oh, very, very fine. Indeed. <laughs> you talk weird. Well, well, we're from England. And I have no problem with that. <laughs> hey, I'm having a party this weekend. Why don't you both come? Annie and Izzy look at each other. Okay. Okay. Addison laughs. It gets bigger. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> Eviler. <laughs> Vanessa joins in. <laughs> Annie stares at Addison, concerned. Izzy looks around. Vanessa stops. I don't get it. Exterior Addison's backyard day, Annie stands by herself at the party, uncomfortable. Across the lawn, Izzy stands with Addison, Vanessa, and others having fun. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, I met the queen. Wow. wow. <laughs> no big deal. We're total BFF. You're so cool. Oh. Izzy flipped her hair back. <laughs> I know. You're nothing like your sister. Annie spills punch on herself, looks around. Did anyone see that? Uh, she's really shy. Well, does Annie have any special talents? Oh, yes. She sings. Really? Addison stops her evil laugh again. <laughs> Seriously, Ad, I don't get it. <laughs> Exterior, Addison's backyard later. Addison welcomes her guests for, from a small stage with a mic. Attention, everyone. I have a special treat. Annie is going to sing for us. She's from England. The crowd is impressed by this last part Ooh. for some reason. They start clapping. Annie jumps. Surprised. What? Uh, they didn't tell you. No. Annie. 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 Come on, Annie. Annie walks towards the stage. A long extension cord stands in her path, snaking up to the stage. Annie is nervous at first, but gets excited to sing and make new friends. Addison tugs up on the cord. Annie trips right in front of the stage. Everybody laughs. Looks <laughs> <laughs> up towards Izzy. Izzy turns away. Uh, you know, um, we're not identical twins. Annie hears this and is crushed. Interior Annie and Izzy's bedroom night. Annie cries on her bed, hair, head buried in her pillow. Izzy enters. Are you okay? What do you think? Izzy sits next to Annie on, your, on the bed. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I embarrassed you. What? You didn't embarrass me. I was just trying so hard to be cool. It's tough fitting in. Truth? 
Annie looks up at Izzy. Cruise. Interior school day. Annie and Izzy run into Addison and Vanessa. What's she doing here? She's my sister. But she's not cool. Then maybe I'm not cool either. Annie and Izzy walk off hand in hand. You know, I don't think she actually knew the Queen of England. Addison rolls her eyes. Fade to black. The end. <laughs>